history does seem to show, though, that before a collapse comes a feeling of invulnerability. Well, a lot of the things that differentiate businesses that emerge from financial distress from the businesses that don't emerge from financial distress flow from the same things. For example, the businesses that do emerge from some form of financial distress are those that have got an ability to communicate habitually and communicate effectively, um, to motivate and to get support from their key stakeholders, their suppliers and their, their employees and their customers. Um, also businesses that are either able to reinvent themselves quickly uh, or are accustomed to the concept of reinventing themselves quickly. So it's an ongoing thing, you don't, yeah. just, do it, you don't just do it once. These aren't things that you, you pull a book off the shelf and go, oh my God, like we're in terrible trouble, where's that manual written by Morgan Kelly that we need to reread and apply. These are the things that, these are almost hallmarks or characteristics of successful businesses. If a successful business shows these characteristics, they're much more likely to emerge from financial distress than a business that doesn't show those characteristics. That's not to say that you can't have a company that did have those characteristics and then becomes ridiculously successful and then forgets them, right? And then finds itself in financial trouble. They might rediscover them later on. But that kind of thing does happen and again, reduces the chances of a business survival. Who controls the story or the organisational narrative in a company? Uh, Now, as you're saying, if if management call you in a dark corner with Mm. with a hat and sunglasses on and pretend you're not there, um, there's two stories going. There's the management story of reality and there's the staff pretending everything's okay. Mm. Really, how quickly does staff find out about you? Straight away. Straight I mean, away? Basically, um, any... Do you have that higher profile? Gen- well, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's, whether, whether it's anybody, but basically in my experience, <laughs> the speed of communication between PAs, secretaries, or the receptionist at a business and the entire workforce or a business is on average 30 to 40 times faster than email. So basically, uh, once that you have become involved and once the Chinese whispers start, then the story's out there. What that results in is a demotivated workforce that thinks their, their bosses are lying to them or their management teams are lying to them. And anybody that needs to resort to those kind of practices to keep a business afloat probably isn't that competent in running a business. So what that starts is a downward spiral of depression within the business itself. Um, contrast that with the business that actually speaks to its employees and actually tackles the problem openly and then you control the story. Then you actually own the story and you control the story. You decide... How are you going to put a spin on this problem? Yeah, so so it's, very, so it's very easy when things are going well because yeah. you don't need to control the story. You just let everyone talk at the coffee Correct. coffee machine about the great things that are happening. That's exactly right. And so for 10 years, people haven't needed to control the story mm. because it's, it's been a great story. I mean, yeah. Now things go down. The boss says, what do I do? Do I control it? Do I cover it up? Do I... Well, if we, if we go it's back freaking to, out now, isn't it? If we go back to your analogy about the hotel that's running at 10% occupancy, um, basically, you can either do one of two things. You can try and hide it, and you can conceal it, and you can let everyone start whispering about what's going on, like, oh my God, the hotel's haunted, or you know, the, the management team don't know what they're doing, someone got poisoned by the food. All those kind of rumours might start, as opposed to occupancy rates running at 10%, and then the management team speaking to everybody, and speaking to customers and, supply, and suppliers, and saying, as a result of the global financial crisis, you know, our occupancy rates are down. We're meeting this challenge by concentrating our business on food or catering or conferences or having some kind of plan and communicating that plan and then owning the story and turning it into something that that gets your admiration rather than gets your pity.